Hello, welcome to True Crime and Tarot. I am Natalie and today's case is about Crystal Rogers. So Crystal Rogers has been missing on July the 5th, 2015. Her hair is blonde, her eyes are blue and her height is five foot nine and she was weighing 155 pounds. Crystal has tattoos on the center of her back, her lower back, her ankle, and a left foot. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $25,000 for the information that is leading to the identification and the arrest and the conviction of the individual or the individuals that is responsible for the disappearance of Crystal Rogers. On July the 5th, 2015, Crystal was reported missing by her mother after she had not been seen or heard from since that evening of July the 3rd, 2015. The same day Crystal was reported missing, her car was found abandoned with a flat tire at the mile marker 14 on the Bluegrass Parkway in Bardstown in Kentucky. Crystal's keys and her phone and her purse were still inside her red Chevrolet Impala. Crystal is a mother of five children and is not known to go anywhere without her children. And the children she has is five children and is not known to go anywhere without them. Um, On November the 19th, 2016, Crystal's father, Tommy Ballard, was shot and killed on the family's property. Um, And this was near Bluegrass Parkway in the Bardstown, Kentucky also. If anyone has any information regarding this case and the disappearance, then please call the FBI on 1800 Field Office in Louisville. Crystal was 35 at the time of her disappearance and was living with her boyfriend, Brooks Hawk. And they had a two-year-old son and her other children also. Brooks was the last person to see Crystal. He had said that she was on her phone playing games at their home when he went to bed at that time. She was gone the next morning when he woke up and her car was not in the driveway. Her family got very worried after a couple of times that she tried to attempt to contact her. The Ballard family was very vocal about the suspicion of Brooks Hawk and having some sort of involvement in Crystal's disappearance. Crystal's sister had said Brooks never offered once to search or to help um, or to do anything for the family. On July the 8th, Hope was brought in by Nelson County Sheriff's Department office for questioning. Nick Hawke then, the police officer, called in the mid-interview and told him not to speak with the police. The next day then, Nick was called to testify in front of the grand jury which led to the police to the suspect that he had also had some type of involvement in the disappearance and it is at this time that Nick had stopped cooperating with the sheriff's office. He had agreed to do a polygraph test after being contacted by the FBI. The examiner expressed his grave concerns, so this was about the results um, that Bardstown Police Chief McCubbin then on October the 16th, 2015 had said Nick was fired from the Bardstown Police Department and Brooks was officially named a suspect in this case. A white Buick became a very important piece of evidence um, when a private investigator found that it was parked at the Hawke farm on the night that Crystal had disappeared. The Hawke brothers' grandmother, Anna Whiteside, owned a white Buick, but sold it several weeks after Crystal had gone missing. The authorities issued a subpoena for the 82-year-old to testify in front of the grand jury and the subpoena stated that the car may have been used to dispose of the body of Crystal and it had been cleaned and it was sold in the attempt to prevent any evidence from being discovered. White size refused then to testify in front of the grand jury and the attorney Jason Floyd had said that her statement to the police and the car buys for the information was enough. 
A judge later ruled to keep out all future proceedings then that involved Whitesides and Nick Hawke for DNA. Despite multiple search efforts and a hundred thousand reward that was being offered for the information. Ramon Pinurioa, I think that's how you say it, um, the new Nelson County Sheriff appointed then in 2019 that he has stated his commitment to solving the case in an interview in Pinaroya um, said that the agency has a good idea of what happened to the Rogers and his mission is to find enough facts um, and the evidence to make a arrest. Crystal's father Tommy Ballard had went hunting on the Ballard's profit property which is private property within his 12 um year old grandson was with him then on that morning of the november the 19th 2016 then at some point then the 54 year old remained alone in the field and while his grandson had walked back to the car to retrieve something that they had forgotten it was at this time then that tommy was shot and killed by a single gunshot wound to the chest um and the police ruled out a possible su suicide for this time as Tommy's gun was never fired and there was human remains found in Nelson County that was close to where Crystal had went missing also as well but it did not belong to Crystal at this time and this is according to the FBI Crystal's mother had said I put on a good front but deep down I have my moments that I break down and I just cry. In a case like this, you have to push, well, you have to keep it out there and you have to not let them forget. I've done everything in my power to keep my daughter and my husband's names out there. They are getting good results. They are getting a lot of extra stuff that we didn't have. Of course, they can't share that with me but I do believe them when they tell me they have a good evidence and I am very happy about that. I think 100% when they crack Crystal's case that they will find Tommy's too. I'm just ready for justice. I'm ready. I'm scared. I beg for this day and I think when it gets you, I hear things. I know in my heart, but I want to hear it out loud is going to know me down a bit um just a little bit there was a prayer service then for the rogers on july the 7th at 7 30 p.m at saint thomas parish in the bardstown okay so this is where i came in and i decided i wanted to do a tarot reading on this case to get them to the bottom to see what was what and there is four main questions i had asked number one what happened to crystal two who was involved in her disappearance three where is crystal now and four what is the final outcome to be for crystal's case what happened to crystal rogers the first question reverse world so there was someone who went through some challenges um, there was a lot of burdens and vulnerability. Reverse Eight of Swords, there was some punishment and someone that was standing up to abuse. There was someone that had been released from prison just recently. Reverse Devil, there was revenge and someone getting out of an abusive situation. There may have been involvements of drugs. Five Wands, there was conflict and a commotion struggle and defensiveness reverse judgment there was a lot of arguments and someone being judged reverse temperance there was inappropriate behavior and recklessness and there was a lot of consequences hangman there was a sacrifice and being tied up and restricted five of swords there was a breakdown in communication there was a lot of aggression hostility and abuse someone that was being very smug um, they may have been involved in a rape or murder or both reverse ace of wands so there was challenges there was hesitation and some unfinished business that was involved 
reverse wheel of fortune. A lot of struggles and delays to do with a possible relationship that was fizzling out. Four swords. There was mental exhaustion and stress, overwhelmness and a death. Who was involved in the disappearance of Crystal Rogers? Queen of Pentacles. There was a female who was very wealthy. They had fine living. There was a sense of security that owned a property that don't take any nonsense. A very hardworking, loyal person that was very supportive that may have had animals or children. Six of Wands. There was triumph and success, winning. There was a go-getter that may have some type of recognition and fame. Reverse High Priestess. There is impatience and frustrations and secrets that is to be revealed. Three of Cups. There was friends and a gathering or teamwork that was involved. Queen of Cups. Crystal is a very emotional, loving, happy, sensitive woman who's very sweet, very nurturing, who seeks family values and is caring and supportive. Death. There was a family secret or a shock there was an ending. Reverse Eight of Cups. There was a distorted body image and being on a wild goose chase. There was also restrictions and entrapment and want to run away. Three of Swords. There is arguments and a love triangle and there was a lot of heartbreak and grief and feeling of being hurt. Reverse Eight of Pentacles, there was carelessness, bad reputation and taking a lot of risks and trying to take a shortcut. King of Pentacles, there is a male that's very wealthy, he has his own business that was involved in investments as well. Um, not a type to risk take here, um, very friendly and generous, maybe a banker, a trader, a merchant, a crafter. Um, or works with animals or works with properties or exercise or nutrition. Um, a ten of Wands, there is someone then who has been taken advantage of or taken on other problems. There's responsibilities and being weighed down. Where is Crystal Rogers? So reverse strength, there is bad depression and someone that is controlling and being very abusive and there is something that is to come out. Reverse Page of Pentacles. There is someone who may be into the occult or does vandalism um, that is involved in illegal activities and is very foolish um, where there is um, a place where kids and people hangs out a lot. Reverse, oh, <laughs> reverse Queen of Wands. There is a female who is revengeful malicious and controlling, very unfriendly and can be a troublemaker. Six of Swords, there is a travel that is overseas and running away. There is a lot of captivity that is involving some sort of assistance. Reverse Sun, there is a lot of sadness and depression, being cold hearted and there is a lot of niggling worries and there may have been involvements of an accident. Reverse Hierophant, there was rebelliousness and arrogance, breaking rules and not being traditional with things. Ace of Swords, there was plans and assertiveness and using their head over their heart. Reverse Five of Pentacles, there's an unhealthy relationship and health that is getting worse. Knight of Wands, there was a sudden arrival of a male who had a very hectic life, who is daring a risk taker and aggressive that had a lot of outbursts and commitment issues. Reverse magician. So there was a violent person that may have a personality disorder or mental health. There is a lot of impatience and frustrations that is involved as well. Last question. What is the final outcome to be for the Crystal Rogers case? Tower. There is to be a sudden unexpected tip that is coming in um, to do with some evidence in the case. Page of Cups. There is to be a young person that is to get some happy news 
of a valuable information and support. Seven Swords, there is to be some tactics and risk taken to do with someone who's trying to run away and to be very sneaky. Two of Wands, there is some decisions that's involved in what actions to take that may be traveling overseas. King of Swords, there is an authority figure that tries to get justice and is going to be bringing in some fairness. Ace of Pentacles, there is to be some help to a financial situation um, and there is to be some prosperity coming in. Reverse Two of Pentacles, so there is to be some financial decisions being made um, but there is a lot of overwhelming demands and information regarding um, some deadlines. Reverse Empress, there is to be some news about an affair or a marital breakdown there is impatience and disinterest as well and being unhappy. There is insecurity, jealousy and demanding involvements. Okay then, so that is the case of Crystal Rogers and that is what I have um, got from the tarot cards. If anyone has any information to call the FBI that is near to yourselves. Um, also, if you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if there's any cases you'd like me to work on, then feel free to comment in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.